hello and welcome guys this is Abhishek Bedre coming with the fifth tutorial of Android native applications I hope you have watched my earlier videos in which we have discussed about layouts uh, I think uh, linear layout and uh, absolute layout today um, I'm gonna show you the table layout uh, and uh, for next uh, it would be the frame layout okay uh, but before that uh, if you want to uh, see my earlier videos you can uh, uh, you can watch my YouTube channel that is the web boostings uh, here you can find the different different kinds of categories of a development that is the iOS app development Android C sharp or whatever okay uh, the next is today uh, I'm gonna show you or you can also download the uh, latest examples related to the iOS or Android from the uh, programming guru.com okay today I'm gonna show you the use of a table layout in Android application so let's start with that okay uh, I hope you guys have used the table in HTML uh, so uh, I hope you knows about uh, the row span column span how we can create the table rows etc etc okay on the basis of that we're gonna learn the table layout height would be fill parent and uh, width also fill parent in short I want to uh, put my table on a whole screen whole screen of the mobile like this after that I'm creating a table row okay it's a table row uh, I'm gonna assign width fill parent height would be the wrap content layout weight would be the one and in that I'm gonna add a text view first row okay guys okay this is my first row uh, with a zero column or a single column and after that I'm adding a second row with the height of wrap content width of fill parent and uh, I want to add a two column in this so sorry text view text row 2 column 1 weight would be the 1 height is wrap content width is also wrap content okay and same one for again row 2 and column 2 everything is same now let's check what happens see this is the first row and this is my second row but uh, it goes to the bottom so uh, I need to remove the weight one from this because we don't added a weight for the second row see the first row is done and second row is divided to the two columns right okay and now after that uh, I would like to add a padding over here for row padding from all the sides would be 10 dp and same for the table row also okay now it's looking proper now uh, after that I want to add a three columns and a third row 
so I'll just copy the table the whole table and uh, giving this and one more suppose I need to add a edit text over here edit text and after that uh, height would be the wrap content width would be the also will parent and weight you must assign the weight otherwise it will fill uh, into the whole row or uh, you cannot see these two text views that's why uh, we have to specify the weight for all three controls I have specified the width height and layout okay and after that if you want please specify the hint enter your name raise during rendering java system error okay i think we have missed something uh, let me take text view again row 3 column 3 that's uh, right okay after that i'm gonna add a view view the background would be at color color would be green and uh, height would be 2 dp so it will show a line over here and after that i want to add a two rows yes it's done and after that again now again one row so i'll copy this first row off okay now i want to add uh, this first row in the center okay so we have specify the layout gravity would be the center horizontal oops it's not assigning so let me assign the gravity center horizontal right okay and after that same for the last row gravity center horizontal okay now let's test it on emulator Uploading to the emulator. Yeah, it's done. This will automatically resize according to your view. So you don't need to adjust your data. You just specify uh, proper data on your first view, like whatever uh, your design is. It will automatically adjust in a landscape or portrait. Okay, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.